What's up guys? Echo036 and just back with another video and I got lots to cover. Um, went to the flea market, picked up some stuff. I actually picked up a lot of stuff. Um, went to Half Price Books and found me some pretty good stuff. And um, I got the contest announcement. So um, let me just start off with my flea market finds. Um, I went to the flea market this Sunday, as y'all saw in the video. Uh, but I went also went last Sunday too. Um, I just got done doing a photo shoot, and I was like, I don't know if I want to go. But I've been really looking for an Atari 7800 or a 5200, and so I really was like, well, should I? Should I not? I was like, well, maybe I'm missing. Maybe maybe I'm missing out on something. I'm just you know not putting myself to work. So you know I put into the flea market. I was like, yeah, if I find a parking spot, I'll, I'll do it. But on Sundays, it gets really packed, so you can't even find parking. So I managed to find a spot, parked, and I walked all the way to the back, and lo and behold, there was a guy there. At the corner of my eye, I spot a whole bunch of NES games. Um, There's about 30, no, about 28 games. And um, he has them on the table, and he He's telling me, yeah, everything's cheap, man. Whatever you want, man. I got movies for, for $3. I got this. So I knew that NES games were going to be cheap, especially since it was way in the back. So I see, I, I eyeballed all those games, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go look through these. So I'm looking at all of them, and I was like, and he, and he was like, um, which ones are you looking for? So I picked some out. He's like, I'll tell you what, man. He was, he was, give me 20 bucks and take all of them. And I was like, there was one in particular that really caught my eye, and I was like, whoa. So... Um, so needless to say, I gave him the money, and I walked off with all the games, and here they are. And let me just go through some of them real quick. Wild Gunman, Star Voyager, some of these I already have, Solstice, but I couldn't refuse when he gave them all to me for that price. I mean, Silent Service, I'll just bundle them up and sell them. I got Star Force, Top Gun, Stanley, The Search for Dr. Livingston, The Rocketeer, I don't know if you guys can see those, I'm pretty far back, World Class Track Meet, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Iron Sword, I already have that one too. Treasure Master, Solar Jetman, or Jetman, Rocket Ranger. Some of these have GameStop stickers, but most of them do. Top Gun Second Mission, Target Renegade, Silver Surfer. Totally red. I used to have this as a kid. It was a pretty weird game. To the Earth. Tiger Heli. Pinball. Oh, God off. Where's Waldo? Even as a kid, I was like, oh, this is a horrible game. Um, Terminator 2. LJ in. And this is the one I was really looking at. Stack up. And I saw that one, I was, that's one of the ones I originally had my eye on. Um, Barker Bale's Trick Shooting. Trog. Stinger. And Star Soldier. So I got all these, you know, for 20 bucks, which is really cool. Um, really nice guy, you know, he was like, yeah, you know, he, he was surprised that I even took him on the offer, uh, which was pretty crazy. Uh, while I was there too, on the Game Boy with the Game Genie, it has marks on there. I think they're like on the inside, but I got this for $2. Um, so I mainly got it for this. I already have a Game Boy, but for the Game Genie, it's pretty cool. So um, two bucks. I mean, the little kid was like, this is $5. And his mom's like, no, the screen's messed up. You just give us $2 for it. So pretty cool and um, if you all remember when I went to the flea market um, the guy was like that really nice guy who um, I bought two games off of him for a dollar 
Um, he gave me a free game, um, and he was like, you, you appreciate it more. Um, you know, it's just going to be sitting in the back of my truck, and it might mess up or something. But uh, the two games I got from him were Boynus Blob. I already have it, but for a dollar, I had to pick it up. And um, Karate Champ. I already had this one, too. But like I said, for a dollar, I mean, I'll just bundle them up and sell them with the extra NES that I have. And the game he gave me was Populous. So I'm going to check this one out. But this is the one he gave me for free. Um, he was like, just take it. At first, when he said take it, I thought he meant, like, give me a dollar for it. Just take it. But nah, he was just like, just keep it, man. So, um, and, and that video was just kind of a a raw thing. I just had my camera. Um, I'll get more in-depth with my videos. Um, kind of give you guys more of a better um, rundown um, on my videos. So, and I went to Half Price Books. And... I got the, um, surprisingly they had this one, um, it was $6, the Manhattan Project, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, um, which is, I've been looking for this game, so I didn't mind paying $6 for it. I know it goes for more on eBay, and this is a really nice copy, I mean, it's just like, it's really flawless. And also, they had some box games, they're a little bit high on them, but there's one I really needed to get, and the one I did get was, um, I don't want to. I opened it once already. I don't want to. I was really careful whenever I opened it the first time, because I mean it's because of the condition it's in. Uh, but I got Castlevania, Simon Castlevania Two, Simon's Quest, are boxed. The box is in perfect condition. It still has a. Um, it's if you can see the corners right there. I mean this thing is just nice. Um, it's brand new. Um, it still has everything in there. Um, it's just like they just tore off the seal and just, you know. That's right there. I paid um, $9.98 for it, which it was a little bit steep, but hey, it's a box game. I mean, that's flawless. So um, they also had like Star Tropics boxed, and they were all in these <coughs> classic sleeves. And that's Star Tropics, um, Star Tropics 2. Um, they also had some other games in there. And uh, but this was the only one I got because I mean it was nine bucks and the other game was uh, was about six bucks so I thought ah, that's pretty much it. If I go back and I find another, if those box skins still there, I'll pick up one more. But um, but yeah, pretty cool, Castlevania. And um, that's it, guys. That's it for my finds. Um, as far as the contest, uh, surprisingly, no one got the answer. There was zero correct responses. The correct response was 50. So a lot of people say 52, 54. I'm going to come up with another game here shortly. And this time there is going to be a winner because the stakes are going to go up. It's going to be a little bit more challenging. The game's going to be a little more challenging. But now it's going to be whoever gets closer to the number, to the actual number. So, um, like I said, it's going to be a little bit trickier, but. Um, there is going to be a winner and it's going to be whoever gets closest to um, the correct one. So um, that's it guys, it's about, I'm at the 8 minute mark and um, thanks for watching guys, thanks to all my subscribers that recently subscribed, um, you know big ups to everybody, um, I really appreciate you guys subscribing, um, I really appreciate whenever, um, you know, I've, been, I've been looking at different channels now, I've been subscribing also, um, just you know um, finding some really cool stuff. But um, that's it guys and uh, one more thing um, I wrote into Nintendo um, the Nintendo company I told them to put out Mega Man as a in a cart form um, the new Me Mega Man um, and they responded back to me and they said no um, we're not interested in doing that we're not gonna put any games for any discontinued consoles but thank you for you know writing to us uh, it was worth a try you know it was worth a try to say hey put Mega Man Put the new Mega Man on a cart, you know, you'll, you'll make big shockwaves throughout the video game um, world but to come out with the NES game, you know, long after it's been discontinued. But they said no, they're not interested in doing that. So, I mean, who am I, right? But um, that's it, guys. That's all I got. So, um, I'll be putting out that um, contest video sometime within the next two weeks. So, um, be looking out for it. Peace.